the Lord. Can we please emote ourselves so you can hear me very loud? I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor Ben. That is Pastor uh, Essien Paul from Jamli. You are, you are welcome. I want to welcome every one of you into this our prayer conference tonight. And I'm believing God that tonight's prayer conference will be a remarkable night and a remarkable evening in your life in Jesus' name. And please, can we please emote, emote yourself? So I want to hear you as I like when I need, except wherever you are, maybe. There's a noise there, and maybe the place is not um, is not okay. I quite understand, but if you're in your house, if you're in your car, and you are not in a noisy area, why can't you emote yourself so that I can hear the people online and the people in the prayer conference online that are with us tonight? I said tonight, it will be a night of remembrance in our life, every one of us tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I am a believing God that tonight the power of God will throw down every power that follow you to this prayer conference. The power of God will eradicate all boxes out of your life that after tonight's prayer meeting, prayer conference, you will move forward and make progress in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank you because tonight is a night of power. And it's Amen. a night that you are going to manifest your power upon the life of every Amen. one of your children, even tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Start now. I invite the Holy Ghost. I invite Amen. God the Father, God the Amen. Son. Amen. Amen. Over everything we are going to do tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Men and brethren, gentlemen, I want you to begin to appreciate the King of Kings. I want you to celebrate the King oh, of Kings. Oh, 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 Available the greater than the greatest. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
call you and bless you for you are good. And I bless you, and I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. Thank you for this time. Thank you for the opportunity to gather and with uh, our brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you, Lord, for this time of prayer. Lord, as we gather, we give you thanks and to bring our request to you, Lord. Oh, give you thanks. Receive our thanks and grace. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the honor. You are worthy of all the glory. You are worthy of all the honor. Lord, we love you. 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 We love you, my Father. We love you. 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 Thank you for our redemption through the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for our redemption. Thank you, Lord, for our salvation. Yes, Lord. Thank you for paying the price. Thank you, Lord, for paying the price. For our forgiveness of our sins, for our justification. Thank you, Lord, for healing. Thank you for healing. Thank you, Lord, for deliverance, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That you are a redeemer, Lord, our Savior. You are our all in all. And we thank you for your grace in our lives. For your grace is sufficient for us. Yes. Your grace is sufficient for us. Your grace is sufficient for us. Grace is sufficient for us. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for provision. Thank you, Lord, for provision. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Thank 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 you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the victory we have in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Christ Jesus, we are more than conquerors. We are overcomers by the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Lord. For moving on us and removing our reproach among people. Yes, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Come upon us. Holy Ghost, come upon us. Holy Ghost, come upon us. Holy Ghost, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. And your grace is sufficient for us. Your grace is sufficient for us. Yes. Your grace is sufficient for us. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Bless you, Jesus. Bless your name, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, you are worthy of all Lord, receive our thanksgiving. Receive our grace. Receive, receive our praise. Receive our thanksgiving. Receive our worship, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. You are, you are worthy. Oh, you are worthy. You are worthy. Yes. You are worthy. Oh, Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Father, oh Lord, Lord, I give you all love. I give you all love. I give you all love. I am the Lord. 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 I am the
Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Gentlemen and fellow pilgrim and warriors, I want to announce to you tonight, our God is a man of war. Yes, you sir. are not a civilian. You are a soldier. Tonight, as a soldier, as a good, good warrior, you are going to throw down some territory tonight. Amen. As you throw those territory down, yes. I want to tell you that your way will be open in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before we go into the prayer, let me just exhort us a little bit through the word of God with some exhortation. So yet you have the understanding of tonight's conference prayer meeting because power will change history in your life. Our Amen. Father, we thank you because Jesus Christ, the light of the trap of Judah, he has have, he have brought the victory to us through the cross. Amen. And therefore, in this victory that Jesus Christ oh. brought into our life, as we connect through his death, and his barrier and his resurrection. We pray tonight, every kingdom will be thrown down in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. We pray that you will open our eyes of understanding and give us a proper understanding of this series we are starting tonight. And I pray that all this, all this period of this series we are going to go through every Thursday, we pray that you will give us more light and more revelation in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank you because you know you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to announce to you, as you have heard in our publicity on the platform, that we are starting a new series tonight. A new series tonight. And the topic of today is destroying the ancient kingdom and their covenant in your father's house. Destroying the ancient kingdom and their covenant in your father's house. Hey, tonight, today, I want to look at this subject very closely. And let me tell you that the Power behind many problem challenges that refuse to go, problem that seems to be insurmountable. They have been, they have the backup from the ancient kingdom that is operating in your father's house. Hmm. Today, this kingdom will be destroyed. I'm Amen. telling you, whatever may be the power. That have limited your pro you see, many of the battles, 70% of the battle of the source of men is the ancient kingdom of their father's house. I will tell you a lot of things if time permit me tonight. Because tonight you will receive your freedom tonight in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus, chapter 6, verse 23. In Churches chapter 6, verse 23, if you don't have your Bible, just listen to me. When it came, when, when it will come to, for prayers, please, tonight, I want to encourage you, prepare you to pray because, because, because tonight we are going for war. Are you Amen. must fight as a soldier to regain, to recapture your freedom and to recollect every treasure that they have taken away from you. As you Amen. pray, you will discover that you will regain your freedom. And Amen. then you will receive the treasure that has been taken away from you. In Judges chapter 6, from verse 23, and the Lord said unto Gideon, Peace be unto, unto thee, fear not, for thou shalt not die. I want to announce to you, you shall not die. Amen. Then Gideon built an altar there unto the Lord and called the Jehovah Sh Shalom. Unto this day, and it came to pass that same night that the Lord said unto him, Take thy father, young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and throw down the altar of Baal. 
that thy father has. That is the ancient kingdom there. That thy fathers has built. That is the ancient kingdom there. And throw them down. Hey, verse 22. And build an altar unto the Lord thy God upon the top of this rock in the other place. And take the seven bullock and offer a bond offering with the wood of the grave who star have called her. Then Gideon took ten, ten men of his servant and did as the Lord have said unto him. So it was because he feared his father's household. That is the ancient kingdom. Powers in the house. He feared his father's household and the men of that city that he could not do it by day. That it may do it by night. And the men of that city arose early in the morning. And behold, the altar of power was cut down. And their growth mm. was cut down. That was mm. by it. And the second bullock was offered upon the altar that was built. That is the ancient kingdom there of, 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 the, of, 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 of Gideon father's house. Gideon fear. Gideon has been chosen by God as a liberator. And before Gideon went into the ministry, God told him that there is the kingdom of Asia's kingdom in his father's house, that he must throw them down and destroy it. And let me tell you that before you began to enjoy the good things that God has prepared for you, the ancient kingdom in your father's house, that is holy people in captivity, that is injuring people, who progress mm -hmm. that is making people not to have mm -hmm. what God said, just to have, mm -hmm. and you must be able to throw down the kingdom down. Somebody it's got married, then after uh, two years, no, no issue, three years, no issue. The second, the second daughter got married, three years, no issue. The third, the third uh, lady got married, three years, no issue. Those are the powers of their father's house that is, in, that is into the fruit of the womb. And you must throw down every such power that is limiting your progress, every such power that is bringing affliction mm -hmm. into your life. Tonight, there will be release of power in your situation. You will come out with a story tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. But See, the miracle about praying this prayer is this. When this kind of prayer are properly executed, prayer with fire, pray with power, you pray with passion, you pray with forces, you pray with violence, you pray, you pray with faith. I want to tell you, 10 different things will take place in your life. When this prayer is Amen. properly executed, 10 different things will take place in your life. Number one, there will be extraordinary promotion. Number two, Amen. all the grace of stopping enemy that is, that, is, that is fighting against your progress and trying to hinder your prosperity. Number three, on you shall open door. You will see, you will just see that doors will open. You will be surprised Amen. when it comes. Number four, there will be recovering of lost glory, lost opportunity. Amen. Amen. And this prayer, if is if you pray it properly, I'm telling you, every lost glory will be restored back. Amen. 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 And all Amen. the way that have come to waste, that have, that have come to waste your glory from your father's house, all the power is. Especially those that come from a polygamy family, uh, family. Yeah, you are your 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 grandfather married three wives, and then your father also married four wives, and then all those four wives with their children, they began to put their heart into evil. They began to attack one, one the other uh, uh, first wife family. They began to attack the second, the third wife, and all that. And some of them go to make some rituals from 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 the cover, from the water, from anywhere to block the first wife children. All such power from your father's house will be thrown down in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Miracle began to happen. That we make people to respect your God when this Amen. prayer is properly, when this prayer is properly educated. This ancient kingdom 
They have no respect. They have no respect for anything at all. They have no respect for pastors. They have no respect for evangelists. They have no respect for digging. But they only have respect for the blood of Jesus and the finishing work of the cross of Calvary. When you call in the name of Jesus and you command mm -hmm. to pack their load and go, they have no option. They have to pack all their property and live your life and live your wife and live your family mm -hmm. alone in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Amen. The Asia's kingdom, they have evil power and to fight people. They are powers. They have inherited demon. If, if, mm. if, let me tell you something. If they worship any form of idol in your father's house, you should pray yourself out of those things. I'm telling you, <laughs> there, there are power that, that are consulted principalities in, in, in the heavenlies to come to attack your progress. You must deal with them. And this ancient mm -hmm. kingdom, they have power assigned to push family and to push them and to bring a cause upon them. Let me tell you something, some years ago, a grandfather at the age of 70 came to see us for prayer. He said, at the age of 77, he said, he used to bed wetting. Then his son is bed wetting. The grandchildren are bed wetting. And then ah. we, he also told us that the great grandfather to bed wells. You see that? The man is 72 years. He called for prayer. You know, we went of our prayer meeting in my, my group of district here. As we are interviewing him, as we are telling him and all that, he says, this is the best bed wet. And the great, the, 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 the grandchildren bed wet. Even the, 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 even the grandfather also, he, he also had, he also had that experience. Those are ancient kingdom of their father's house. They, 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 they bring that family to a cause. If you are being it out, it's just a cost like that, that yoke will be broken tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. They, have, they are the power assigned to afflict families. See, they are powers assigned to monitor lie makes for evil. You know, in a family like that, they monitor the firstborn, they monitor secondborn, and the third born and they put embargo upon their life. Even though they have married, even mm -hmm. though they have children, they see some similar thing that their father went through. I want you to begin to imagine about your life and about your family. Your father, what he went through, you are going the same direction. What your grandfather went through, you are going, your father goes the same direction. And you see the trace of your family is going the same direction. You must pray that thing out of your life. Whatever mm -hmm. power that is working against your household, whatever power that, 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 is, that is limiting, bringing affliction, you have to pray and break yourself from the power of your father's house. Listen to me. Your father got married. Your grandfather, he divorced the wife. He married another woman. Your father that gave birth to you got married again. He divorced, divorced the wife, your, your mother. He married another woman again. Those are flowers in your father's house. David married a many wives. He, he have problem with morality. Solomon, Solomon inherits that. When Solomon come to the throne, he inherited the David's challenges. And he also began to um, acquire, um, acquire wife and wife and wife. 1,000 women in, in, in his own time. He has more time at all for the ministry. The father went to adultery, the father went to evil, and then he saw also, he saw also take also the part of his father. My brother, my sister, whatever ancient kingdom working in your family, that they are transpiring uh, and bad luck and transpiring problem and sickness and bad things that your grandfather went through, your father went through, you see the thing appearing before your face. It's a night of prayer. You will drop us this time and then Lord, his power with you, victory in Jesus' name. Amen. They are the strong man assigned against your family. They put an embargo in your family. They are the strong man assigned against your business. They put an embargo on you. Oh, you know, you know, those embargo they place over there, those embargo will be destroyed completely in Jesus' name. Amen. A, 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 a sister. At the age of 40, she had not gotten married. She prayed and prayed and prayed. No, no, nobody is showing up. She prayed and prayed, nobody is showing up. And then her younger sister, at the age of 38, no, nobody showed up. And then the, the youngest one, she saw she was at the age of 36. 
Nobody show up. When they came for prayers, we just pray for them. And I told them around 12 a.m., don't play with midnight prayer. Are you hearing me? Don't play with midnight prayer. I told her, I said, make sure you pray this prayer at midnight around 12 a.m. That every strong man in my father's house that is blocking my marital life, I cross you. I cross you. I cross you. Do you know what? And she slept. She said she had a very big, he had a very nightmare that he saw a particular python in his father's house fighting with her. And he managed to escape and then he threw a bucket of water upon the head of the python. The python had break, he ran out. When he ran out, he came, he told us. I said, that is it. I said, the powers of your father's house. I will give you another prayer pray that that evil python must die. I told Amen. them to pray that prayer. I said, they can't pray that prayer. They can't pray that prayer. Look and behold, a old man from their, from, from their, from their father's village among their family life was in first seat. Before the man collapsed, he confessed, he confessed the evil he has accomplished in that household. That is how the Lord did it. Those three um, sisters, that, 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 that six years, no man called. 38 years, and the other one is going to go to 40. Nobody has shown up. But when that python died, the, the three of them got married. They got settled down already. Those are the ancient kingdom. They 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 they, they are people are trying to put embargo on family tonight. I pray for somebody. Whatever may be the challenges that you may be going through in your in, in, in your family bloodline, the Lord God Almighty will send deliverance, and you'll be delivered from such powers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before we pray, let me tell you something. You know, some of you, you don't take this type of prayer serious. And that is why that is why you see some people bringing prayer requests every time. Um, imagining prayer, imagining prayer, imagining prayer. For, you see, if you do not stop them, they will stop you. You have to stop their activity and throw them down. Give your throw down. All those other or bar, he throw them down. And since that time, Gideon because the people began to respect Gideon. How they knew it, Judges chapter six, chapter seven. When there was a challenge, they said, Go and call Gideon. Gideon become liberator. Gideon become a warrior in the land because he threw down the ancient kingdom of his father's house. Tonight, every ancient kingdom disturbing you, bringing backwardness into your family, bringing interests, and the Lord will cross them out in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 There are power that hates your progress. Listen to me. Any man or woman that hates your progress, that God bless you, God bless you, they are not happy. You bought a new car, they are not happy. You got you, you got a celebration, they are not happy. Something happened, happened, something good happened to you, they are not happy. Those people, they are witches and wizards. Anybody that is not happy with your progress is a witch. Are you hearing me? Anyone mm. at all that is not happy with your progress in life, spiritually, physically, materially, that person is a witch. And such witch and those evil, those evil couple, the Lord will cross their teeth and break the front of their teeth in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before we pray, before we pray, before we pray, I want to tell you this now. Those ancient kingdoms, they have no mercy. They have no forgiveness. They continue in their oppression or else you stop them. They continue in their evil deed or else you stop them. They don't have mercy. They don't have compassion. They have, they have no forgiveness. Have you seen a witch repent before? Have you seen a witch? When God said, that I shall not suffer, I wish to live. And you, and, 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 and you are folding your hand and you say, it's the will of God. Tuberculosis is the will of God. Cancer is the will of God. High blood pressure is the will of God. Your husband is making problem with you in your, in, in, in your home is the will of God. And your wife is packing a load and says, it's going to divorce you is the will of God. All those ancient kingdoms. If you look at a trace of your family, you will see those things happen from your generation, from your, from the trace of your roots. Don't take this prayer lightly. You need to pray with violence and to deliver yourself out from this ancient kingdom power and this evil activity. Give mm. your pray and he throw down their altar. He break their, their, their images and then and, and they don't give, give your victory. My brother, it's your ninth of celebration. Amen. And if, 
you will key into this or the power limiting your progress. I have told you 70% of the problem of, 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 of men today, they are from Asia's kingdom. They are from their father's house. Africa as a whole is full of, if you study Africa, the map of Africa, Africa is full of darkness. I don't have tree everywhere. I don't, I don't worship at the foot. They put a the wood there. They put a the stone here. No God, no Bible, no, no nothing at all. Tradition. There's a cult in Africa, full darkness before the gospel called into Africa. And those ancient kingdoms have done, and you come from a family, you don't know what your father, grand grandfather have done. They have killed people with sacrifices and buried people alive and used that for powers. And there you are, you hear oh, they call somebody with the name of a god, with one name of the one idol god. You need to break yourself loose from those idol god. Tonight, no mercy for those evil, no mercy for them. If you will take your son and pray as a warrior, you will be have deliverance tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. The affliction they put in your body, all the affliction, they throw sickness here, and that sickness go one month, another sickness go again another month, and that sickness used to recall once in a month, once in a year, every time in a year, this particular sickness used to come. That reminds me of a particular lady. When she came to when she, when she came for prayers, this girl was very he, 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 this lady came from a rich family, but they put a, a saw in her leg. When the father gathered a lot of money, this lady will fall sick. A deep saw. We have to we they took the girl to the hospital, no solution. After the father has spent everything, the girl will not get okay. The father will not begin to also again. When the father make a when the father have a very good contract, and then they are what the father with a very nice contract, the girl will fall sick again. Big soul, they will treat her, treat her, treat her. After the father spent everything, the girl will, the girl will be she will be okay. But then the girl make a covenant with the queen of the coast that at the age of twenty two she will die and come and, and go and meet the queen of the coast. But then she doesn't want to die when she was 21, 21 years and about six or seven months to clock to the two years for her to die to go to the queen of the coast. She came for prayer. She is afraid before she opened up. It was through prayer, through prayer, through prayer. And then he was saying she's going to die at 22 years, she's going to die. I say you will not die. And I could remember the name of the husband, the spiritual husband. The name is Uzo. Uzo. He said the, the, not the husband name for the water is Uzo. Ah. When we deal with the spirit husband, I will command, we rebuke it, we bind it. I want to announce to you, she's alive today. She's not dead now. They're not deliver her. He set her completely free. That is ancient kingdom. That is powers of their father's house. That is trying to manipulate that family and bring them, bring them to poverty. Every power working against you and your family. Tonight, they shall be overthrown mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There is one particular sister, she wants to get married. And the minister asks, he asks the, the, the uh, bride, he says, do you take this uh, um, um, bride as uh, as your lawful husband? Is there do you but the <laughs> bridegroom said that no. Ah. The minister asked her again. He said no. Ah. He asked the third time. He now shouted. I said no. I mean day of day of wedding, wedding, wedding. He said no. And then meanwhile, the spirit husband was there looking at the woman. The spirit of was terrifying her on the day of wedding, and the lady was seeing the spirit of man. And the spirit of man said, If you say that, say yes, it's going to kill her. I should say no. But thank God, of one of the deliverance ministers, he said, It's not ordinary. He just said, Church, that she excuse them. He took that sister away to a particular office over there. He called some prayer, some prayer, some pastors. When they pray for this lady after 25 minutes, they return that get to the altar. They ask her, He said, Yes, I do. It was after deliverance. It was after deliverance. He was saying that testimony. He said, he said yes, I do. The spirit of God said, if you say yes, I will kill you. That mm. was our powers. Those are demonic and satanic and, and evil demonic activity that is operating tonight. If you find yourself in any type of power that is troubling your life and your family, and you discover those ancient kingdom, ancient kingdom and their covenant is affecting your marriage, affecting your finances, affecting your family, you will throw them down. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I want to open your mouth and to bless the Lord. My time is gone because this prayer 
God help him to the series. We are going to continue to continue because of blessing, Lord, because of what you have done to my life, my precious to my life tonight. Give God the glory. In the name of Jesus, pray. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, Amen. Power that stop your ancestors. Hey, you are going to decree they will not stop you. Power Amen. that stop your grandfather. Power that stop your, your ancestors. Power that stop your mother. Father, stop oh, your forefather. God. You are going to pray and decree and decree a declaration. Ah, I love David. David oh, said. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the life of my of, 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 of the Lord is the strength of my life. But who shall I be afraid when my enemy, my foes, call up to eat up my flesh? They stop my fearful. That was shaking the creation. I went to the 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 Lord is your strength. The Lord is your life. That was the confession of David. David. That was the life of David. That was the prophet of David. He is making a declaration. Why can't you make your declaration tonight? The Lord is your strength and your power. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, stop your ancestors, will not stop your life. Drop your path and pray. Lord, God, be listening to prayer request. Pray, my brother. Seek blessings from me to satisfy your family again. Pray. All the affliction in your family we must, must die, must go back, must be tried off. Deliver yourself from the from the from 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 your head and from your family. It's a night of your remembrance. from 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 the GC came here about three years ago in Port Harcourt, when Pastor Doctor W. F. Kumbi said that if you key the prayer, if you if you if you key the go gate of the church, you key the church. You key the prayer wall of a church, you key the church. He now said that those people if they don't repent, that God will key them before they key the church. He says, if God, if they will not repent, God will key them before they key the church. And you are the you are you are you are the life of the church. You are the strength of the church. Any power. That attempt to kill you, the property of God. If they fail to repent, God will take them out of their way. The Bible oh. says, In the year that King Hosea died, in the year that King Hosea died, I saw the Lord. I saw the Lord. I saw the Lord. In the year that King Hosea died, I said, I saw the Lord. You're going to pray any power that must die for your life to move forward. Let those power collapse and die. Call upon the Lord. Any father with that must die for your life to move forward spiritually, those powers must die. Call upon the Lord. Amen. Any power that must die for your life to move forward, those power must die. I don't want to know who they are. I don't want to know. I don't want to know the region they are coming from. I don't want to know the name you call them. Any power that must die for your life to move forward, let those power die and collapse. I am going to throw those powers, those those order, those bar. He throw them down. He life move forward. Power that must die for your life to move forward. Let those power die. Let the power die. Let them be die for your life to move forward. Let them be dismantled by fire. 
Let them be shattered. Let them be shattered. Let them be clear out of the way. Enemy here. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Easter retreats as we had the counseling section. Uh, after some time, I was relaxing. So they say, Pastor, somebody uh, needs prayer for counseling. I said, I should take care to the prayer where I have a work I'm doing here. But all the way, my name is Sia, Sia, attend to her. And it, she came, I was surprised. She said, she asked me a question. <laughs> it's a funny question. She said, Am I not beautiful? Uh -uh. As I was surprised he was asking me such a question. I didn't know what, what he was about to say. I said, you are okay? He said, are you sure? I said, yes, you are beautiful, you are okay. He said, why is it that men, be brothers and sisters, even in the church, outside the church, people are not taking a name to marriage committee? Uh -uh. I said, are you serious? She said, she has PhD. She's where to do. But then, brothers, are not going to marriage committee in the world over there, they are not approaching her. He was asking, What is the cause? As I as I look at her, I saw a whole a whole face, a whole, a whole, a whole face. She was young, but I was this one, a woman that is very old, like 85 years old woman. I look at her very well again. The picture appear. I said, ah, this is a old man. He appear again. I smile. And I said, do you know what? You have no problem. I said, we will pray. When we pray, you will come and share testimony. Just about two, about uh, three days ago, he gave me a text. He said, marriage committee, somebody, they have told him, they have taken a name to marriage committee. I said, I say, you have never seen something. I said, I said, it's only one. I said, don't be surprised. More than one or four or five or six or seven, they will go and queue, they will go and queue at your back. But the point is this, there is a, there is a, there is a, a blanket, a cascade cas that they have, they have to so cover her that people cannot notice her. But after that short prayer, at that, at that uh, GCK stroke Easter retreat, I say, God, every casting cast covering this, my sister, I command fire to, to burn into ashes. I release you from every cast they have cast upon you. Every, everything they have to so cover you that people cannot notice you. As we pray, three days, he just texts me and say, they have told that they are taking a need to marriage committee. I say, that is the power of prayer. And that's what I'm telling you tonight, that whatever may be the power, ancient kingdom will pray in your foundation. Tonight, I want you to begin to execute judgment upon them. Power that drag you backwards. Power, you know, I was discussing with one of our leaders today. I said, are we making progress for whatever, for whatever, we should be making progress spiritually, financially. I mean, we should make it not, not that not that these are are coming and then you are bringing us back. Making progress of what? Every power that is going to bring us backward. We have to dismantle those powers. You are going to bring whatever that is bringing backwardness in your life. You there is a PhD, PhD water, and then collecting about 50,000. Uh, 50, 50, 50, is only 50,000. So for what? You are PhD water, and collecting 50,000 in Nigeria. 50,000 cannot even take you for one week. I must go for, for two weeks. Oh God, every power that is breaking me power, let us power die. Every power, 
Every power of frustration, Father, in the name of Jesus, let them die. Let them die by the reason of the sacrifice that was set for your recovery. Let them do that good sacrifice. Father, I ask in the name of Jesus. Every ancient power, every ancient God, every ancient order that has been erected to prove in the name of Jesus, let them die. In the name of Jesus, every sin of blood and body is burned. In the name of Jesus, every fire that is burning, burning in my life, burning in my marriage, burning in my finance, burning in my life, burning in my life, burning in my life, Father, I speak, O Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, never have done it. I have done it. I have done it with Jesus. Let every sit fire, let it die out in the name of Jesus. Every church power, let it die out in the name of Jesus. O Lord, you don't do it. Speak it. Because of the blood of Jesus, because of the sacrifice, all of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let me tell you something. This, this series, we are starting by the grace of God, the Jesus study. Next week, Thursday, I will continue this series because it's a series. Uh, by the grace of God, before uh, one of our brother now is late now, that is late, Johnny Todo, is staying in Oyadino Estates. We do go out for evangelism in Oyadino Estate over there. There was this morning we went out for, for evangelism at uh, Alagomeji early in the morning. And then as we went out for money cry, a old woman came to meet us in that place. He brought money out. He's, she was very old. Looking at her, she would be up in her 60 or 70. She said, you, my children, you are doing a great work for God. She put that in her paws. She brought up to five, five hundred naira. He said, please, my children, manage this money and use it to take care of yourself. So this, this brother, he told us, said, we don't want your money, you keep your money. He enforced it upon us. He said, say, no, don't worry, keep your money to yourself. The woman looked up, she looked down. It was that day I know there are powers that are fighting against the children of the source of name. You know what he told us? He said, people that came to preach money cry in that area, that he normally give them money. And those that collect that money from our hand, he carried their glory, he carried their wealth, he carried their prosperity. He said, you people are the only people that come here for money cry, and I offer you this, and you refuse to take it. He said, ha! Ah. He said, please pray for me that I will not die. That's what he said. He said, pray for me that I will not die. My dear brother, they are powers. They will give you something to exchange your glory. They will can it, it may be monetary. They will give you money. That money, they are put that money inside the calabash, inside evil pole. They give you one thousand, they collect your glory. You don't know. They exchange it. Every power that, that have exchanged your glory through whatever means they have used to contact you. You are going to pray. Let them restore it with sevenfold. Let them Amen. restore everything that is from my heart. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Let me go. Let them restore it with interest. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know. I don't I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
Amen. In fact, I, I, I did not even look at my time. My time is almost up. One more prayer point. One more prayer point. You are going to pray this prayer. Foundational bondage. Let the blood of Jesus Christ, oh God, push my foundation. Cleanse Amen. my foundation. Repair my foundation. Reposition my foundation. Oh man, watch your foundation. Ask the Lord to repose. We pray. Finally, please, the Holy Ghost place in my heart. Finally, the Holy Ghost place prayer request in my heart now. You are going to pray this prayer. Every calculated death. Hey. Every premature death, every sudden death that have been assigned to you and your household, you will pray, let that spirit backfire, destroy Amen. that forces behind it, and then let your vision on you and your household not die. Every form of is rejected. I reject. I cancel. Oh, Amen. Amen. By the grace of God, next Thursday, we shall continue this series. And the series continue by the grace of God next week, Thursday, because time is not there again. Destroy the ancient kingdom and their covenant of your father's house. If Jesus started next week, Thursday, we shall continue on this series. May the Lord God Almighty and through the blood of Jesus Christ perfect your dominion, perfect Amen. your victory, perfect Amen. your breakthrough. That everything the Lord has released upon your life will become permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. By faith, here tonight, I speak words into your life. And into your into your family, Amen. whatever the enemy have collected from you, whatever they have stolen away from you, and they are using it against you, but the efficacy in the name of Jesus. If the faith return it, I command this word, the wild will of God, with terrible pain upon their head, let it fall upon their head right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Whatever have troubled your life, whatever have troubled your family, whatever have troubled your household, by the efficacy in the name of Jesus, by the blood of the Lord, the Bible says it is a 
right trusting with God to recompense tribulation to they that trouble you. I stand as the oracle of God and I make a declaration that such things may the Lord begin to trouble them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Tonight, everything oppressing your life, I remove I, their Hebrew hand away from your life. Tonight, Amen. arrow shot against you and your assault, I break it and scatter them. Tonight, Amen. every power contending with you, the God of heaven began to throw them down. Amen. Amen. You have liberation and freedom in your soul, in your spirit, in your body. Receive Amen. deliverance in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, for the answer. In Jesus' Amen. name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I think we have about just three minutes, and uh, we don't want to take our time. So we just sing Jesus. It means pray. Why should I be on? Jesus has set me free. I have not be bad. I have not be bad. Let us just continue. Jesus. be will not be I will not be bad. I will not be bad. more. Financially, you will not be bad. Let us just continue to sing. I will be detained. I will not be bad. Financially, you will not be bad. Financially, you will not be bad. Financially, you will not be bad. Socially, you will not be bad. In your church, in your family, you will not be bad. The grace of the Lord will be us. The mighty hand of the Lord will be upon us. Whatever we lay, let us continue singing. Whatever we lay our hand, we shall succeed. We shall succeed. The joy of the Lord will continue to be our strength. And the power of the we shall receive mercy. And the power of the in our left side, we shall receive mercy. In our right side, we shall receive mercy. Our name shall come to receive mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. be banned. In no situation, in no circumstances, you will be banned. But the power in the blood of Jesus God is us pray. Any thought from proper time or so ever it may be, for barren and God is setting us free. And the power and the blood of Lord Jesus for untimely dead God is setting us free. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we shall, we shall achieve, we shall get to our destiny. We will achieve our dream. The joy of the Lord will be our strength. The joy of the Lord will be our strength. Sing, 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 sing. You cannot be banned. I cannot be banned. Jesus Christ has set me free. Jesus Christ has set you free. His grace is sufficient for you. His grace is sufficient for me. His mighty hand is sufficient for me. Go into your, go into your bed with this song that Jesus has set me free. What is that particular thing that is troubling you? Is it unemployment? Is it financial situation? Is it physical situation? Is it barrenness? Is it because of your relationship or the other between you and your, and your spouse? What is that word? Even in, in, in your place of work? Or is it either promotion? Is it, is it what your, is it the establishment of the business? Sing this song. Sing, sing this. Sing this song. Jesus. I cannot be born. Jesus set me free. I cannot be born. I cannot be born. I cannot be born. Please together. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God.
Goodness and and then do not let us forget to be inviting other people. During the program from time, we can, uh, most of us, we can share, share it to the to other platform or share it to your friend to remind them. And God will continue to help us as we are doing so in Jesus' name. Once Amen. again, God bless you. Good night, sir. Amen. Good night. Good night, Daddy. Good job, Thank sir. you. Thanks, sir. Thank you. We love you. Appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let's have the word of prayer. Father, we thank you for showing us your own way. The more excellent way. We're asking, Lord, to plant, establish your law, divine law, in our hearts so that in everything we do, whether it's the church, why is the, the church, in our, in our communities, in our families, and anywhere we, we find ourselves, there is a guilty love. God's kind of love will be in every heart, every moment, every time, in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, we'll never forget that whatever we offer in service, if it's devoid of love, is not acceptable in your sight. Therefore, Lord, we pray that every time our heart will be influenced and controlled by your love in Jesus' name. Help us, Lord, every time in everything we do to have the more excellent way before us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, God bless you. Can see down today. We're coming to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And we're reading from verse 1 all through to verse 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have no charity, I am become a sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal. And then in verse 2 it says, And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, and have not charity, I am nothing. Then in verse 3, it says, Though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burnt, and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Today we're looking at those verses of Scripture, and we're titling the message today, The Preeminence of God's Love in the Heart. The love of God, not just in the mind, 
the love of God, not just in our understanding, the love of God, not just in our memory, that he is who can quote it from the Bible, but the Lord by grace, after saving us, after purifying us, after circumcising our heart, after taking away the old Adamic nature out of the earth, he implants the heaven kind of love, not human love, not erotic love, not society love, not the kind of love we hear about, love you, love me, a syndrome, not that one, the love that comes from heaven and come from the very heart of God and by the operation of the grace of God that love is implanted in our hearts that is the preeminent thing above whatever we offer above whatever we serve above whatever we give above above our talent above our skill above the possibilities of human learning that love in the heart influencing everything we do controlling everything we do and impacting everything we do that in the sight of god is what is profitable and rewardable and it's preeminent that means it's not just that you have it once in a while, all through your life, in everything and every way that comes to the top, that comes to the limelight, that in your life, what is noticed is not just your ability, but the love, the God kind of love that you manifest in everything you do. I pray God will help us to understand that without love, all else is vain in our lives. The preeminence of God's love in the heart. There are three things we're considering as we look at the message today. Number one, the priority of charity, God's love in the heart. The priority. The one we need to give the first place to and the first attention to and the one we need to examine our heart, anything we're doing, anywhere we are, that this is the number one, this is the premier thing, this is the first thing, this is the priority of all our actions, of all our lifestyle, the priority of charity, God's love in the heart. Number two, the purposelessness of charisma, the purposelessness of ability and strength and skill and all zeal and excitement, the purposelessness of charisma without love in the heart. I'm sure you understand, if we're going to make progress in our personal lives, what we do must be on purpose. And if it is going to be appreciated by God, recognized by God, rewarded by God, it must have the purpose of love. You serve, I serve, we serve. That service to be profitable and rewardable when we get to heaven or even here on earth must have love as the basis love as the foundation love as the motivation of that that we're doing otherwise there's no purpose for that action the purposelessness of charisma without love in the heart number three the preference of christ likeness with love in our hearts what we prefer is that we'll be christ-like every time that the life we live will be centered on the life of Christ. Everything he did, he did it in love. And then the supreme love of going to the cross and dying for us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have 
everlasting love and that love motivated him that love is to, uh, made him to go to calvary and to do everything that he did he removed mountains because of love he healed the sick because of love he delivered the oppressed because of love he rebuked the peter and those other people that rebuked because of love he warned people because of love he proclaimed the good news the gospel because of love everything he did he did in love if we are christ-like will do everything we do because of love the preference of christ likeness with love in our hearts let's come to number one that's the priority of charity god's love in the heart first corinthians chapter 13 reading from verse one first corinthians 13 verse one though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity. I am become a sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal. Isn't it instructive that Paul the Apostle did not say, Though you Corinthians speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity? you are become a sounding brass or a tinkling symbol he said do i as an apostle do i as a fervent zealous preacher though i traveling here and traveling there and i even speak in the tongues of men and in the tongues of angels and if i have not as an apostle as a preacher as a prophet as a pastor as a teacher of the word of god as a worker as a minister if i have not charity i Paul the Apostle, I the preacher, I the pastor, and become a sounding brass and a tinkling symbol. We look at three things here. Number one, the possession of charity, God's love in a pure heart. Number two, the primacy of God's love with a purposeful heart. Number three, the perception of charity, God's love in a peaceful heart. Love does not dwell in a pugnacious fighting heart, but a heart justified by faith, having peace with God, peace in himself, and peace with other people, peaceful heart, God's love established there, that is what God demands. And that's what God does for us by grace when we come to him. Number one, the possession of charity, that is God's love in a pure heart. In 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 5, now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart that word end there means the goal and the reason and the purpose of the commandment the fulfillment of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart and the good conscience and of faith of faith that means of pretending faith on hypocritical faith real faith proper faith of faith faith the edge of the commandment the purpose of the commandment the effect of the commandment and the result of the commandment in your life in my life is charity out of a pure heart in second timothy chapter 2 verse 22 it says flee also youthful laws that tells us the lord is not talking about the love 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 the love of the flesh the lusts of the flesh that uh, people in the world carry about and all their entertainment is based on that it said flee that one flee also youthful laws but follow righteousness faith charity you see that charity then peace 
with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. This charity that the Lord is emphasizing comes out of a pure heart. It tells us in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 22. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 22. It says, Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth. There is no love without obedience. If we love God, we obey the truth He has taught us. If we love the Lord Jesus who died for us, we obey the truth He has emphasized and given to us. See, ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfinished love of the brethren, unpretending love of the brethren. A love that is proper, a kind of love that is profitable, unfeigned love of the brethren. See that she love one another with a pure heart. See that pure heart fervently. That pure heart is very important. Oh, the love that we manifest, we're told in Psalm 24. Reading from verse 3, Psalm 24, verse 3, Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? Hear the answer from the Lord himself in verse 4. He says, He that has clean hands and a pure heart, he that has clean hands and a pure heart, a connection with what we're studying today, he has charity out of a pure heart. He has love out of a pure heart. He has affection out of a pure heart. All the actions are the actions of love coming out of a pure heart. Who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. We need to possess that. And we cannot possess that with salvation. A definite experience of salvation. You'll know when you were saved. You'll know how you were saved. You'll know the message you heard that led you to repentance and conviction. And then you turned away from sin and believed on the Lord at a definite moment of time. Instantaneous work of grace in your heart. Your sins are forgiven. They are blotted out. And then you move on and you are sanctified. That sanctification too is a definite work of grace that the Lord performs in the heart. And you approach the Adamic nature. And you approach the natural selfishness in the heart of man. And then it purifies your heart. You are filled with charity and love. And then you are on your way to heaven as you allow that love, that charity, that pure love, that pure heart to continue with you in everything that you do. Number two, number two is the primacy of God's love with a purposeful heart. You don't do anything without a purpose. If you are saying something and somebody asks you, why did you say that? You say, this is the purpose. If you are acting out something and somebody said, what's the purpose of that activity? You are able to tell this is the purpose. And it is only when what you do is motivated by love and it has a purpose that glorifies God, a purpose that helps people, a purpose that shows you have the love of God in your heart. That's why you are doing it to that person. If it is not of love, it's condemned by the Lord. If it is because of hatred, it's condemned by the Lord. If it's because of bitterness, it's condemned by the Lord. If it is because, uh, well, I need to show them I'm not happy with them, it's not recognized by God. Everything we do must have the purpose of divine love, God's love, charity, heaven's love in our heart. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 10, reading from verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? 
the Lord thy God, thy God. You are saved. You are a member of the kingdom of God. You are a real child of God. Here is what the Lord requires of you. Now, if you live your life, you profess to be saved. You profess to be sanctified. You profess that you are a child of God. You are on your way to heaven. And you never care about what God requires from you. And you just act involuntarily reflex action you were doing it before so you are doing it now you were talking like that before so you are talking like that now you were relating with people before like this so you are doing it now and there is a uh, no purpose in your heart that i am doing this because god requires it of me then you are not conscious really you are a child of god it says now what does the lord thy God require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God, reverence him, respect him, and to walk in all his ways, not some of his ways, all his ways, all the time, and to love him, and to love him, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. That's what he requires or requires in Matthew chapter 22. We're reading from verse 37. Matthew chapter 22, verse 37. Jesus said unto him, Is Jesus your Savior? Jesus said unto him, Are you conscious of Jesus, the presence of Jesus, the desire of Jesus? Do you perceive? Here is what Jesus wants as my Savior, as my sanctifier, as the one that is taking me to heaven. Then you will pay attention. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. And then in verse 38, it says, This is the first and great commandment. Now, if you do other things, but the love of God is not there, you have committed the first sin, first great sin, because you have not obeyed the first commandment, and you have sinned in the sight of the Lord, whatever your actions are, and whatever the prophet, humanly speaking, those actions may bring. If this first and great commandment is not observed by you to love the Lord in everything you do with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind, all those things we do, they're useless. In verse 39, it says, And the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Thou shalt love thy brother, thy sister as thyself. Thou shalt love thy husband, thy wife as thyself. Thou shalt love your friends as thyself. And even your neighbor, your enemy, thou shalt love everyone as yourself. And then in verse 40, it says, On these two commandments, love to God and love to your neighbor, on these two commandments hang, all the law and the prophets. So if we interpret the Bible correctly, anything we read in the law of Moses, anything we read in the prophets, anything we read from Genesis to Malachi, this is going to be interpreted on the basis of love towards God and love towards man. Any other interpretation? that anybody gives. Sometimes somebody will read something in the Old Testament and they will say, look at this, because of this, I am justified to hate those who are not of my tribe. I am justified to hate the people I don't like. That's misinterpretation. Anything you interpret in the law and the prophets, the conclusion must be, I must love God with all my heart, all my soul, all my mind, and I must love my neighbor, my fellow man as myself. Let's come to number three now. Number three, the perception of charity. 
God's love in a peaceful heart. We're coming to Colossians chapter 3, and we're reading from verse 14. It says, And above all these things, put on charity. After you run here and run there, after you have done some great activity, after you have spoken or preached some great message, after you have interacted with people one way or the other, it says, now that's all right, above all these things, put on charity, which is the bunch of perfectness. When it says put on, it says make it visible. When you put on clothes, we see the clothes you put on. Let us see the charity. Let us see the love, like we see the clothes that you put on. Let charity or divine love in your action, in your heart, in your life, in your communication, in your interaction, in your dealing with other people. That word dealing with other people, that means relating with other people. Don't ever have the mind, I will deal with him. When you talk like that, it means I forget love, I forget affection, I forget sympathy, I forget compassion, I forget every other thing I've learned, and you throw Genesis to Malachi and Matthew to Revelation, you throw that away, I will deal with him. When you do that, you are not a Bible-believing Christian. And you are not on your way to heaven. We must have the understanding that above all skill, above all knowledge, above all ability, above all profession, above all possibilities, anything or everything you have done, and above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Look at verse 15. In verse 15, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts. You understand that? Let the peace of God rule in your heart. You just heard something that somebody did or said about you. And then there is something on the inside. You want to rise up. I want to see him now. I want to confront him. And without the peace of God in your heart, without a restful spirit, a peaceful spirit, you want to jump on the situation. It says, don't allow that. Let be in control. Let the peace of God rule in your heart. If your heart is boiling, that's not the heart of Christ. If your heart is stirred up, that's not the heart of Christ. If your heart is uh, wanting to revenge, and then already you are making your hand like you want to box everything out, that's not the love of God. In all that happened to Jesus Christ, we never heard any kind of impromptu action that he forgot himself. Don't forget yourself. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts to the which also ye are called in one body. And be ye thankful. Philippians chapter 4, reading from verse 7. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, it says, And the peace of God which passeth understanding, the peace of God which passeth understanding, what does that mean? When something has happened, and the normal expression, and the normal action, and the normal attitude is that you stand for your right. And you stand for your good. That is, if I allow that, they'll ride on me. If I allow that, everybody will make a foot march out of me. If I allow that, they will think I, I'm not uh, courageous, I'm fearful. That's why they're doing that. That's the peace of God, which passes understanding that nobody can understand. With thought, he'll get angry. With thought, he'll fight. With thought, he'll retaliate. With thought, he will speak back to them. With thought, he'll take the stone they threw at him and he will throw it back. 
the love of God in your heart brings the peace of God in your heart and that peace passes understanding. The people cannot understand how you can be peaceful at such a time like that. That's the evidence of grace in our heart. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Look at verse 9. In verse 9, the things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me doom and the God of peace shall be with you when the God of peace is with you the peace of God will control everything in your life I pray that more and more the peace that passes understanding will control everything in our lives in Jesus name Point number two now. Number two is the purposelessness of charisma without love in the heart. We refer to charisma as the gifts of the Spirit. And if somebody has the gifts of the Spirit, but there is no love in the heart, it's purposeless. It were even better the person did not have that gift that ability or that skill. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1. 